Hello, truth seekers. We're uh, getting close to the spring equinox. It's just a gorgeous day here in the northern hemisphere, and I hear the, the birds singing their spring song, and I just uh, wanted to make a quick video. I started recording sundial data yesterday, uh, and um, so I want to talk about my plan and what some other methods are floating around there, uh, out there, and uh, so I my data that I collected yesterday is showing that the um, the arc has not flipped yet so in theory if the quote-unquote straight line method is accurate for confirming the spring equinox and that seems to suggest the spring equinox has not happened yet the arc is still pointing the same direction it was pointing for the winter solstice so um, we we shall see I shall continue to collect data from here and we'll see if we can zero in and uh, see that line straighten out and then flip uh, this I, I saw that last fall I saw it get to the straight line but I I didn't get a third day of data following the event to make sure the line flipped. So I'm really excited this spring. I hope to actually have three days of sunlight to actually be able to see the flip occur. Like I want to occur. I want to confirm that the line doesn't like kind of hang out and get straighter, like right around the time of the equinox. I want to make sure it's clearly arced one way the day following the spring equinox and then the day of the spring equinox is straight and then the day following it has flipped and uh, we're still very much in pioneering territory uh, the even the straight line method I'm getting that from Juan Carlos um, I don't know where he got it I really like it um, if it works that's just truly amazing uh, the geometry that the creator put in place to to make that straight line happen but um, I think it is still in the process of we're we're still in pioneering territory and we need to we need to establish that matter and the best way I can there are two ways to establish that matter that I can see one is that um, you can uh, three different people at three different latitudes all see that straight line pattern on the same day so like one in the northern hemisphere one in the southern hemisphere and one near the equator and if they all see the straight line on the same day I think that'll con that's one good way to confirm another way to confirm would be to actually get these uh, pin down the dates for the winter and summer solstice events and then theoretically the day to directly between those solstice events should be the spring or fall equinox. So um, those are the two ways I would like to eventually see one of those two confirm the straight line pattern. I wanted to add a, a few tips real quick about how to collect the sundial data if you're trying to do the straight line method. I noticed uh, last fall in 2018 something that worked really well for me. If you're looking at this picture, this is, you can imagine, three days of data. It's exaggerated, but this is approximately what you're going to see uh, in theory. Uh, three days of data straddling the uh, equinox events, so you're going to see the arc one way the day before the spring equinox, and then you're going to see the straight line on the equinox event, and then you're going to see the line flip the day following, in theory. Uh, so one thing that worked for me is that I found actually works really well for small sundials and is probably a very convenient way to do this um, is if you look at this picture those three lines converge near the middle and get closest together right in the middle of the picture so that's going to be the hardest place to kind of tell the difference uh, from your data points from day to day but out to the sides of the picture those data points were collected in the early morning and late evening so if you are able to collect your data in the early morning and the late evening you're going to get uh, more of an arc so what that's going to do is that's going to when you uh, when you're going to test your data to see if you got the straight line you just just simply draw a line between your the first point you collected in the morning and the last point you connected in the evening and if any of your other points are 
you know, off of that line, then you know the arc hasn't happened yet. But like I said, the arc is really pronounced. The earlier in the morning you're able to collect your mark, the better. Uh, and the earlier in the morning and the later in the evening. And I just want to put caution, a little caution out there. If you try the straight line method and you only collect like a few points of data or maybe a lot of points of data, but you're not doing any of them in the early morning and the late evening, then your arc is not going to be very pronounced because you didn't get it in the late in the early morning or the late evening and so the line could appear to be straight because you didn't get points in the early morning or the late evening when the curve you know when there was more of a curve like if you only get it near the middle of the day it might actually look straight on all three of those days so i i in a nutshell my recommendation is if you try the straight line method do try to get points uh, in the early morning and uh, the late evening if you can as early as possible and, and as late as possible and really you, to do this you really only need three points one in the early morning one in the evening and then uh, one somewhere around lunchtime uh, and you should be able to tell based off of those three points like when you connect the the two end points in the morning and evening you should be able to tell if that third point is on the line or if it's not on the line